Okay, Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh So, today okay, we will continue our lesson with HTML images So, what we will cover in this session Okay, I will talk about how you can insert your images okay, using HTML So, we will learn about IMG element okay, and also SRC attribute Okay, and then how you can insert from different locations Okay and then uh, how you can insert image as background and then how you align images okay floating images okay about the size of images okay and then how to use alt attribute okay and then creating an image map okay so we will look at one by one okay how to use img tag element and then together with the src attribute so basically, okay, this is how you can use. Okay, this is how you can use okay your element. Okay, so you have IMG element and then and then you have the SRC okay, attribute. So what is the meaning of SRC is actually the source, okay, the location of your image. So you can be URL, you can be the directory or the where you put your image in your computer. Okay. And then you need to have the slash n. Alright. For the ending. Okay. Okay. So for example, okay, you want to have okay uh, an image file named boot.gif. Okay, and then located in the directory image on the W3 schools. Okay, so this is the okay. You want to have this kind of okay. Okay, this is the URL. Alright, so now we look. So the browser put the image where the image tag occurs in the document. So if you put an image tag between two paragraphs, so the browser shows the first paragraph, then the image and this, then the second paragraph. So this is example. Okay, so for example, okay, you have uh, IMG element and then you use together with SRC. Okay, this is the name of your image and then this is the element, uh, the attribute size, okay, with an height of the uh, image okay so if you don't put the size it will display or use the original size of the picture or the image so if you want to have a different size or you want to resize okay reduce the size so you need to put width and height okay the measurement you need so this is example of the image okay okay so next we look at this one okay so insert image from different location so this is example where they use the w3 schools so if you try on uh, using this example so we cannot uh, you cannot display the correct output because uh, the image is inside the uh, this this is the the source directory inside the server the w3 school server okay so you need to have your own okay let's say you want to have chrome.jf so you need to save as okay, chrome.jf from the browser okay then you uh, from the computer and then you uh, put the name of the file of image from your computer okay not in the server okay so let us try this one then we, we modify with uh, our own okay so now put the code in the HTML editor okay for example I put in the notepad plus plus okay and then you save as okay so save your file as and then you uh, make sure again okay you need to put in one um, folder okay uh, so I hope that you put in one folder so that is easy for you to uh, especially when you have uh, links okay, and also the images uh, if not, it will um, it will makes you difficult, okay, uh, for you to organize. Okay, let's say this is our uh, images, okay, and then save as HTML file, okay, hypertext markup language. All right, okay. Then we modify. Okay, as I mentioned, you cannot use this one because if you use this one, okay, let us try to view in the browser. Okay, so this is the output in the browser. So if you look at the code, okay, so you compare the code. So this one, okay, you want to have uh, image from another folder. 
okay you want to assess okay but where is the location of the folder so you need to know okay so this is example location from the w3 school so they have one folder which is the uh, images so inside the folder put the chrome.gif okay so that's why you cannot display so this is actually where you have this image because we can display this image because it is exists in the w3school.com link and the directory is correct so that's why the output the, the image appear here okay so now let us um change okay so we change so first we need to have the file Okay, so can we save this one? Save image as. Okay, and then you put inside your folder. Same as your HTML. Okay. Uh, so where is it? Okay, I have it here. Okay. Alright. And then make sure you save as uh, which uh, file format. Okay, let's say this is .jpg. Okay. Okay, then we change. Okay, what is the name again? This one. W3 schools underscore green okay okay so this one okay so remove W3 school dot W3 school underscore green dot jpeg okay make sure it is correct so let us check back the name Okay, we have S here, okay? Double three schools underscore. Okay, and then once you confirm, so save. Okay, then we refresh back. Okay. Okay, so means that this one is not correct. Okay, so again, we look at what is the problem. Okay. Oh, right, this one, eh? So, I don't have the double code here. Okay, then save. Okay, not correct again. Okay, so JPG, okay? So, I don't want to have this C with and height. Okay, so I just remove this one. Okay, then save. So, it will appear the same... Uh, size because this is original file okay okay so this is example where you have the okay, image so this one is you put inside your same folder in your computer and then this is from the server okay okay so uh, be careful okay class because uh, img element okay we don't have close so you just use a slash okay to close the element right okay now we move to the next one Okay, so now we look at the background image. Okay, so how you can use image as your background. So basically, we use body. Okay, inside body element. And then we put background. Okay, and then we have background to JPG. Okay. Alright. So this is the... So what is the background dot JPG? So you need to have uh, one picture that save in the same uh, file. Okay. Okay, so let us try. Okay, let's see... Okay, I want to use the same um, okay, where we have W3 schools underscore green. Okay. Alright. Okay, and then save as. Okay, save as. Okay, put in the same okay, background. Okay, same location as your Okay, and then we try to view in the browser. Okay, is is it work or not? All right, it is working. But what happened? It will have a full uh, picture. Okay, and then it will duplicate. Okay, replicate all the the images. Okay, to make sure that uh, we have the full uh, background image. Okay, so it, it depends on the size of your okay your browser. All right. Okay, another one is the aligning images, which is we have align attribute. Okay, so align equal to bottom. Okay, align equal to center, align equal to uh, top. Okay, and so on. So you can try to have this one. Okay, as your um, together with the IMG element. Okay, 
Okay, so to make sure that your, uh, if you can see in the in this note, okay, the example of the picture here. So this one is um, on the first. Okay, we have a line on the bottom. Okay, so bottom means that it will appear on with the image. Okay, bottom. Okay, this is center or middle. Okay, middle of the text. Okay, this is same as the text line. Okay, and then this is top. Okay, uh, this is how we do a line for the image. Okay, very easy. Okay, then okay, we look at this one. Okay, this is example where you, you have IMG element and then you have SRC attribute and then you use the width and height. Okay. Okay. Alright, next. Okay, we look at the floating images. So you learn how to let an image float to the left or right of a paragraph. Okay, so you will look at this one. So how we use that. So this is example with an image, the align attribute of the image set to the left. Okay, so this is aligned to the left. Okay, and then this is aligned to the right. Okay, uh, so this is you can put. So you can uh, always um, uh, okay to try to instead of you are using table okay to arrange your content and also your images so you can try using this one okay let us try okay to float okay and then make sure you have this image so change the image name as a w3 schools okay underscore green okay dot jpg okay so this one same goes to the next one okay which is okay for the next paragraph okay Okay, so this one is we uh, okay save first. Okay, so this is uh, a line or floating image. Okay, floating IMG. Okay, and then save as. Don't forget to save as to HTML. Okay. Okay. Uh, so this is how okay it will looks like. Okay, when you save. Okay, and then you use the um default viewer to see the output in the browser. Okay, so what happened? Alright, so if you can see that, okay, it will um, uh, based on your brow your browser screen size. Okay, so if you large and large, but it will have left and right each. Okay, okay, so you make sure you don't compare with the. Okay, uh, so if I enlarge this one, so it will be different. Okay, so this is how HTML works because we are, um, we are actually uh, using the browser with different size. Okay, different sizes. Okay, so if you view in the uh, mobile, so it will have different. But the basic idea is this is using the left. Okay, align. This is using the right align. Okay. Okay, as I mentioned, you can resize your image, okay, using the width and height attribute, okay. So, you can put the size of your image. So, you need to know the size, the original size, okay. But, uh, you can always try an error. Okay, next we look at the ALT attribute. So, what is ALT? Okay, so actually ALT is alternate, okay. Uh, define alternate text. So, means that if your image is not appear, you have something wrong with your image, so it will appear the text. Okay, for example, okay, I put here, okay, I just put the example, uh, okay, let's say, okay, I use this one, very basic one. Okay, and then I have element, I, uh, I put another attribute, sorry, attribute, okay, and then, uh, means, um, okay, icon, okay, let's say this is a text, okay. Okay, and then I, let's say I misspell the name of the, okay, picture. And then we try to browse. Okay, what happened? Can we have the image appear? Okay, uh, so the image will not appear because I have misspelled, okay, the name of the file, okay, the image. But I have alternate text, okay, so it will appear the icons. So if you don't put alternate okay alt attribute so it will just error okay without the name of the so this is a, another example where you can have um uh text okay to um for the user to know whether there is an image or not okay 
Okay, where you, you can use ALT also. So normally we will use for the site under construction. Okay, so you can have something like this. Okay, for the user to tell the user what happened. Okay. Okay, the next part. Okay, we will learn about uh, create an image map. So, okay, actually it, uh, simple image link. Okay, uh, which is in using image as a link. Okay. Okay, so this is example. Okay, so this is uh, we look at the example how you can use image as a map. Okay, for example, okay, we want to have okay something like this. So click on the sun or one of the planet to watch it closer. Okay, okay, so this is very interesting where you can have uh, you point at this planet and then it will appear the okay, the, the length. Okay, so we look okay, the example, but. Uh, make sure you have all the um, pictures okay here okay so now i show you how to use image maps okay from w3 schools because uh, it is quite difficult to find the same picture as the tutorial uh, or as in the notes okay okay so what uh, is important here so you need to have map element Okay, so using map element and then you need to have the area. So for example, I want, okay, try to click on the computer phone or the cup of coffee. Okay, so let's say I want to here, go here. So it will have link. Okay, and then if you, uh, I go here, you don't see any um, hands. Okay, okay, so it means that if we have the hand, so we can click, right? Okay, so what happened if you click? So it will go to the description okay so very nice this this one also you can use for your assignment concept okay using the image map element okay okay, okay very nice right okay but it is not easy so how you can use that so you need to have the uh, something like coordinate okay to make sure that it will appoint at the correct okay so for example okay you use uh, img src so this is for the workplace okay makes that means that uh, this is uh, the the whole picture so we name as the workplace.jpg okay and then use hashtag work map okay so this is for the link link in the same uh, you want to have a link okay from the same things in the in one picture okay okay and then use map element okay name the work map so what map actually which one okay uh, which the whole um uh, the you want to point here okay the whole picture here but map okay this is area shape coordinates and alternate computer okay and then you have href okay so means that you want to click computer okay picture it will go to computer.htm okay so this that is the first shape the second shape okay is a rectangle means that you want to have the rectangle okay okay and then the coordinate Okay, the coordinate means that actually you need to know um, how to have this rectangle size. Okay. Okay, so if you click phone, so it will go to the phone.htm. Okay, and then area shape, okay, circle, and then you have the go to the coffee.htm. So this one is not easy for you to uh, try. Okay, but you can try. Okay, uh, because the, the difficult part is uh, about coordinate. So to make sure that you have your um cover everything for the image so you need to know okay okay so you can try this one eh? okay very nice okay another um uh, as i mentioned in html okay we have a uh, various uh code okay that you can use okay as i mentioned earlier so you can use background code attribute equal to okay what is the image name so you can also use the style Okay, so this is actually from the CSS. Okay, so style attribute, uh, and then you use the background image. Okay, this is uh, means that. Okay, okay. So if you don't want to use this because it's quite complicated, so just use background. Okay, and then equal to the name of the image. Okay, to so have background. And another one that we have, we also have the picture element. So display allow to display different pictures or the di for different device. Okay, or screen size. Okay, for example, okay, you will want to have uh, show different size, screen size. Okay, what is the output here? Okay, let us look the sample from the W3 school. So, in one picture, okay, okay, 
So the picture element resize the browser to see the different of the picture look. Okay. Uh, Alright. Okay. So if you resize, so this pixel means that uh, related to your resolution of your uh, browser. Okay. So if you uh, have a big size, okay, full screen also on, so it will display the IMG foot. Okay. Okay, and then if you have, oh, okay, this one is IMG uh, car. Okay, so means that this is the resolution. Okay, so you have, okay, so if I have a bigger picture here, so it will display the 650 uh, pixel image foot. So 465 pixel image car. Okay, and then auto. Okay, so auto means that what? So it will display the image IMG. Okay, auto is the IMG go. Okay, just now. Okay, alright. So this is how you can use. Okay, this is set the look the resolution. Okay, using the picture element. Okay, and then using the source. Okay, and then we have a uh, media. Okay, attribute. Okay, uh, so this is advanced level of HTML. So this is just extra knowledge for you to have. Okay. Okay, so I think that's all. But the most important in our syllabus is actually the image. Okay, how you can use image element, how you can use SRC attribute, and then how you can use ALT attribute. Okay, and then how to use width and height. Okay, so that is the most important part in our syllabus. Alright, so I think thank, uh, uh, I think that's all for the HTML images. Okay, so we will continue with the next one. Okay, thank you very much for your attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.